Hi, my name's Doug. Hello, my name is Doug. He's Waka Rohit Pavilion Church. This week, I bring a different challenge that we're giving our young people while they are in lockdown. It's the third of the challenges that we've been giving out, and this is the third week. So. This week, the theme is identity timelines. Now, I want to speak to you about that because I think it's important for us to know who we are before we try and project ourselves on the different images that social media, that society give you about who you are. Especially in a time like today, when the things we've been valuing are being stripped away, when our structures are changing about how we plan our days, it's important that we feel confident of who we are in light of the changing society around us. Is that so, identity being wrapped up in the football that we play, in the schools that we go to, in the jobs that we like to do? When all that is stripped away, the question still remains, who am I? Now, the question today is, what are the key aspects in your lifetime that have shaped who you are or who you are becoming? For example, you could say, I was born in Uganda, so I would include a map of Uganda. And I may include a cultural symbol, like some drums. And the drum is a symbol that sits right at the heart of community in Uganda. We play drums when we're inviting people to come together for community. The other symbol I would include is a Gomesi. I was raised by my mom, so I would include an African Gomesi, which is symbolic of the attire that women wear in Uganda in honor and respect of the sacrifice that my mom gave in raising us up. I would also include the house that my mom built when I was about nine years of age who entered this house. In that house, many memories have been created. Some of them great, others bring tears to your eyes. I would include the church icon because it's at this church that I learned how to play music. It's at this church that I loved sport because there was a basketball court where we played sport all the time. So I would include the church icon plus a guitar icon because of music. And I would include maybe the icon which is basketball. I would also include my school. It's at the school that I was able to learn to lead, taking up different leadership roles within the school. For example, I was a scouts leader. And it's at this scouts camp that I got a love for adventure, a love for the outdoors, a love for camping. The other aspect I would add on to that chart is Lake Victoria, which is part of Uganda, because that is where I was baptized. And that has shaped many of my decisions. So now we're going to invite you to draw your own timeline. Um, so you need to cover the last 10, 15, 18 years, however many apply to you. And we want you to think about things in your life that have been really key to shape you to become who you are today. And then either write them out or draw them in a timeline and send your submissions to Doug. Hi, my name's Doug. <laughs> 